Well, hello, Junkaholics. So, Nice Junk is getting a new look. I just received my new glasses, and I'm about to show them to you. So, be prepared for the new look. And there you go. I might not look any different to you, but you all look different to me. But anyways, all kidding aside, I know they're the same style. But, I'm also known as one of the most unsafe content creators on YouTube. And, I just wanted to show you something. I also ordered a pair of prescription safety glasses. So, we'll put those on. They're a little bit bigger. They got the side protection. Above, below. Pretty cool. Prescription, progressive lenses. Hey, I got these at Zenny Optical. Frames, lenses, and the safety gear for 111 Canadian. So, these are awesome. I will be able to to um, put them on in the morning. They're my prescription. I wear them all day. So now back to the show. Hello, drunkaholics. So this is part two of Canada selling to board sort, and I was going to concentrate mostly on the telecom. Uh, system that I have but this is important too so we're going to be uh, just doing PC computers and a laptop so I'm just going to tear down one of each and that will give you a good idea so the last episode we were wondering what this was. So I got a hold of Chris at Board Sort and he told me it is a LAN transformer, but they buy them as IC chips. They got some good weight to them. So make sure you pluck those off. Got a little window on there, but you can't see. But like I say, they're well worthwhile to, to do them. They're eight bucks a pound. So, this one came to me without a face, so it's faceless, and let's see, it is a media center, this is a media center, oh, let's see, I can't, M7000, and, uh, she was running Windows XP 2008. So that's almost a brand new computer. Kitty. So we're just going to take the side off. I'm just going to Pull a few screws off. Get the ones out for the power supply. I think I got them. Now I'm just going to undo these cables. Got a hard drive and there's nothing in there. So I'm just going to pull the hard drive apart. So, got a nice little hard drive. We'll be doing a video on those later on. This goes straight in the shred. 
There's absolutely nothing there. Here with these two tabs. DVD drive. I know some guys send them just to boards or just like that, but you're not going to get anything for our purposes. Shipping from Canada to board sort, you do not want to do that. These are really cheap hole. So we'll tear that apart and I'll show you what to do with it later. Power supply. There we go. Power supply. Most guys get aluminum breakage for it. I don't. Um, we'll ta tear that apart too and show you how to maximize if you don't get aluminum breakage. Ribbon cable. My yard gives me insulated wire price for that. So I just cut that off. So that goes into the insulated wire. This as well goes into insulated wire. Um, this little cable has gold ends on it. If you, you may want to put those to the side if you want. Uh, board sort will buy them. I'll make sure I'll put the price of that on the video for you. See that. <laughs> this fan, what I do with these, break them right there. This little bit of wire goes into my insulated wire. I don't get a, don't have a low grade in my yard. It's just goes in as number two wire. And then I turn around, I just cut the, the blades off. Like that. That goes into the motor bucket. So I just brought you up at a better vantage point so you can see what I'm doing. Here we've got some slots. I think I have to take these out, the screws. Take these all out. So let's discuss these. So to get the maximum amount, you want to take the bracket off. So, you just upgraded this substantially. I'll put the numbers up on the screen. So there's a, there's a gold finger slot card. You leave it as it is. The bracket you throw in the shred. Again, you want to take the bracket off. to get maximum value. Come on. I'm 
I would take this off. They're not going to want to pay um, the money for this extra garbage. So we'll be taking that off. And then again, that's a, a gold finger card. Just unscrew that. I believe that should just pop right off. Just going to take the side cutters. See, it's very important to have a messy workshop because then how would you struggle looking for tools? Right? Again, so you'll take that apart, the little fan, you cut off the, the blades, that'll go in your motors, and then you got a nice piece of extruded aluminum there. So I believe this is a slot processor card. Um, if Chris, can you tell us in the comments below if it is or not? Um, if I don't hear from him, I'm just going to send it in as a Goldfinger card and he can upgrade me or downgrade me, whatever he wants to do, I don't care. And, uh, but the one thing you do want to remove off of this is this little copper motor. They don't want that. So that just goes in like that. So I don't know if you've seen that. I was stuck to the bottom of the heat sink. And here's your processor. AMD Athlon 64X2. Lots of nice gold pins. These, like I say, you want to make sure the processors, the processor isn't stuck. Uh, let me find a little screwdriver. This fan, just like I did the last one, and cutting all the plastic off and then throwing that in the, the motor bucket. This one has, looks to be eight screws. Six screws. Oh no, eight screws. Hey, there you go. That one just popped out. So, take all this. Oops. Watch your head. So, just take all that stuff off. Now you got a nice piece of extruded aluminum. Man, you know, that's dirty. She's the dirty girl. Now we're gonna pull the mama board out. <laughs> so I had two screws on the back side that was holding this up. Now this should just pull right out or not. Oh, we got two sticks. 
of RAM. Has its own category. This is unshielded. So that's that's good stuff. Um, let's see. Just going to pull off. Copper toroid. We'll pull this aluminum heat sink off. And pull that wire out, and then that can go to your favorite scrapyard for extruded aluminum. And that's about it for that board. Um, this motherboard is what they call a nose socket. It's worth 85 cents a pound. So, you're going to want to pull off your flat packs, your IC chips, um, the gold corner BGA, this little chip here, you're going to want to pull off. Um, here's a couple more you're going to want to take off and just depopulate this board like I did in, um, on the telephones on video one. So, and then the rest will just go in the shred. So this is an AMD aluminum ceramic, aluminum tops. This is an AMD aluminum top ceramic processor. They go for $26. This is a non gold tab uh, flat pack. And they go for two dollars just wanted to give you a little update on that so the next we're going to do is a Toshiba laptop uh, this is from my mama um, it just totally petered out and I'm gonna tell you the truth never scrapped a laptop Never ever have I scrapped a laptop, but we're going to do it today together. So in the bottom here, there's always screws. Well, I unscrewed the entire laptop. And uh, next I'm just going to take out this battery. So, lithium ion battery nobody's going to buy that you can drop it off at your battery shop okay. then here we've got our ram there's a stick of ram I'm not exactly sure how this all comes apart let's see let's see like I see I think I have this all unscrewed there's no I'll pull out this disk drive Take that apart in another episode. And then, let's see. Let's go. There's a hard drive. Forget a screw somewhere. No. Okay. So again, here's the battery. 
pop that out. And then a little unscrewing. I guess there were some screws from underneath the keyboard. Come on. So I guess that would be a fingerboard, cold fingerboard. Mm. There's another motor. Let's see. There's copper heat sink, I believe. Okay. Small socket, laptop motherboard, I believe they're 450, and a green fiber CPU. Some more RAM. I really screwed up, right? So we're back. Make that be a lesson to you. Remove all the screws. Okay. So on here, I send that off just the way it is. Small socket, laptop, motherboard. I think it's all the same price. Four fifty a pound. If you wanted to go in there, all you do is break the So there's not much of a board there. It's very, very light. Um, I believe they're high peripheral. And that's about it for this episode of Nice Junk. Um, that's ripping apart a, a desktop and a laptop computer. And like I say, there's all different classifications. There's large so socket motherboards and small sockets motherboards. Um, the difference is you can fit a quarter in a large socket where you can't in a small socket. And hopefully we get one of those in a future episode of Nice Junk. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and uh, 
yeah, I won't be scrapping too many more laptops. See you next time. Bye.